It all begins when the moon and the tide is just right. Clams release a hormone called SIS, which stimulates other clams to make sure that every other clam in the vicinity is ready for spawning. All right, let's produce some gametes. The clam releases a lot of sperm into the water column. Clams are hermaphrodites, meaning they are both male and female, and can produce eggs and sperm in the same body. To prevent self-fertilizing, the clam waits a little bit before releasing all of its eggs. Many eggs are lost, and therefore, clams can produce as many as 500 million eggs at a time. This whole process is known as broadcast spawning. Within about 12 hours of semen reaching the egg, a trochophore larvae is hatched. These are very small, about 100 micrometers wide, and moves around using cilia. After about another 12 hours, the trochophore larvae has developed a shell and a digestive system and is now considered as a villager larvae still floating around in the water. After about one or two weeks, the villager larvae will have developed a foot of which it will start sinking to the bottom due to the increased weight. <coughs> it is now considered a petty villager. Petty meaning foot in Latin. Here, it will crawl around until it finds a suitable substrate, like a rock or coral reef, hopefully close to another adult clam with good access to food and mates. The pet eye villager then secretes a substance that permanently attaches it to the substrate, after which it will start metamorphosis and become a spat, a tiny version of an adult clam. The spat will sit there for two or three years before it becomes sexually mature as an adult giant clam. Some species only mature as males and spends another two or three years after that before they become hermaphrodites, ready to start the cycle all over again. Carsten Svensson, 